auf. Auf. Sake. Now then, this time I haven't needed to restart the computer. Ah, okay, we'll turn type point off so it doesn't confuse our ally. Let our ally do whatever it wants to do up there and hope beyond all sense that the fact that they have arrived Hostile in that system... Oh, that's just more alien vessels. Uh, ...will convince them that it would be a good idea to go home. You're nearly out the system. Uh, actually, while you're in there, how many of yours are damaged? There's one Corvette is damaged. Uh, and a bunch of them aren't even using shields. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. So shields regenerate in between battles, of course. Armor does not. Unless you repair. So they don't have a great deal of sticking around boof to them. So once we get a good fight with them, even if we lose it, so long as we do enough damage to those unshielded ships, I think they will flee and go home. They're being occupied now. Uh, why are you going out that way when you were very nearly out that way already anyway? Doofus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're not, do not doing anything. Uh, I should have looked at what weapons I had while I was there. Or I, I did look at the ships. I didn't take note of what weapons I had when they were there. Hostile IFF signatures detected. Okay. I think at this point we're going to go have have to go in. We'll hopefully be able to get there just in time. Okay, there's there's the other ones. Uh, they're all level one. Okay, I'm much less scared of you now. Uh, you have two destroyers. We only have two destroyers as well. Uh, your destroyers are pickets. Point defense pickets. We don't use missiles. So there's two weapons that they're not going to need to worry about. Uh, that we're not going to really need to worry about. Oh, a lot of them are using point defense. What's the actual damage? 3.75. Um, I mean, they'll be able to shoot our our swarm corvettes. Sure, but our weapons probably going to outdo them. Uh, I don't know what the minus 75 percent armor damage. I think I think we're going to be all right with this, you know. What, what, what's your actual numbers? You've got 29 Corvettes, 2 Destroyers. We have 29 Corvettes, 3 Destroyers, and better weapons. I would hope that we're able to kick you out. Once we have kicked you out, if we're even lucky, they'll end up at a bad starbase. Perhaps that starbase, these guys will jump on them and proper pan them. Um, okay, so you've lost quite a lot of fleet over there. It wasn't a wise idea doing that, was it, mate? Uh, oh! Thank you. I want to build that trust back up again. Um, what on earth was the fucking construction ship doing? 
Not only did he change course from there to there, halfway through that bloody thing, then he flew to the bloody middle instead of across. Shazer. But in comes our fleet to come and daddy all over you. Please don't destroy... Ah, oh. oh, good, it got away. Come on. Daddy him. Daddy him. Daddy all over the face. Oh, Baby's been a bad girl. Baby's gonna get fucked up. Come on, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. We gonna lose a lot of fucking ships out of this. Um, right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da uh, up here, if we had filled out the supremacy tree, we would have a bunch of different options. Uh, defense in depth for better home territory fire rate, which makes your ships essentially stronger. 10% uh, stronger, I think it is. Um, in attack. Uh, there'd be hit and run, which means that your chances of disengaging and surviving emergency FTL were higher. Um, rapid deployment, which is 20% 20, 20 higher sublight speed, I think. And I think those are the only three that you would get normally. I think there's another one if you are uh, particularly special. Uh, okay, right then. Let's aim a look. Uh, this is... I, I, I don't know the hotkey to actually turn off of... Uh, of um, the, the, the interface, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, okay, so we do not have any control over this at all. Other than... Um, designing our ships to combat specifically... Their ships. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're we, we, pretty sure we're going to win this, but I think we're probably going to end up losing quite a lot of corvettes in the process. Um, if you keep an eye on the the bars up there, the numbers. Oh, we're on minus forty. We do not want to be running out of credits halfway through this fight, because if you run out of credits, your ships basically don't fight; they just get immediately blown up. Um, so. Uh, I can't sell any consumer goods anymore. And it's not a whole lot, but it's enough. Alright, we had one disengagement, I think that was. Yep, yeah, so piss off. There's a circle with some green left in it. That ship disengaged. I've had one disengage. None get blown up yet. Uh, if you are losing, there is, per fleet, a retreat button, but it needs uh, a month before you can actually do that once the fight starts. Uh, and you might... Um, hey, there was, a, there, there was a destroyed ship there. Ooh, that one was very nearly blown up. Uh, so they've had two disengage, we've had one disengage, uh, uh, sorry, they've had two disengage and one destroyed, we've had one disengage. So we do, I mean, we're definitely going to win. There was another disengage, I think that was ours, pretty sure ours are the blue trails, those are the red trails. Boom, da doom, boom, boom. Alright, I'm going to go up to normal speed. Uh, and leave them to it now. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need to watch this. I got more fleeing. Oh, we're up, we're up the bunch flee as well, to be honest with you. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine in that fight. Uh, are you the? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to press the repair button. You can't be. Yeah. There it is. Repair button. <laughs> uh, for these guys, uh, it would be up at top here. Uh, okay, right. Imdamar. I'm not going to build anything there because uh, I'm going to be sending... Oh, actually, to be fair, that is one building slot. Uh, I'm going to be sending two from there. None from there. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. I think I'll, I, I, I'm going to have to reset them. Okay, there's three jobs waiting over there in Ibrixia. Uh, we're not going to bother sending that guy, and I'm not going to send any robots. So it's unemployed and technician. And technician. Uh, you've gone straight into technician jobs. Stability is not a lot higher, but it is a little bit higher. Uh, you've fairly low, uh, fairly reasonable migration. We do have migration coming from all over. Um, you, I'm going to be sending two jobs to you once this one's finished as well. Let's set this up as a generator world straight away to get that 20% extra. Uh, we'll just pop back in and have a look at this. Uh, they are 951 with 1 1.5. Uh, pretty sure we're going to win that. Uh, in which case, Mr. Arnold, sir, bring you back. And we're going to bring you back. Uh, oh, well, apparently we <laughs> lack the... I forgot about that one. But then you hadn't given us the sodding thing you'd be jobby anyway. Doopa doopa doopa. We, we, we didn't get the research treaty from you anyway. Okay. You we're not going to get the research treaty from. We're not sending you the stuff anymore either. Right, who else in the world can get a research treaty with? Not Sithin, not the Vran. The Vrin, we've got one already. Uh... The Enterprises on the other side of... No. They're not on the other side of the U. It's the Sovereignty that are on the other side of them. Uh, well, we're not going to get one with you. Uh, but you're big. Yeah, you have 118. And you're fanatic materialists. Fair enough, you're egalitarian. Um, but that would be a problem with authoritarians not with xenophobes uh, okay um, we're gonna we can't send him for 262 days but we'll, we'll we'll come back to those guys to try and get the uh, research treaty there then don't do don't 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 okay if, if, if I were you um, sovereignty I would have pressed the retreat button by now but you know what if you want to carry on like that you carry on like that Okay, right. There are small blue lasers, small railguns, and ion thrusters to be ha found there. Once, uh, I also want that starbase back. Once you have discovered them as debris, they will stay in your research list as one of the ones at the bottom with that yellow border around them. Uh, which is probably the most um, useful part of... Uh, of, of getting them. Uh, you, I want you to build that starbase. Uh, you, I want you to still build those. you got 50% stability now. Uh, the Zajin Enterprises have made peace. Uh, you took a little bit. Took three systems and one planet. Uh, we're not offer you a trade deal. Uh, we've only got 34 minerals coming in now. And we've only got two food coming in. And I'll offer you one alloy for 30 years. Still only neutral. You know, you, uh, you, you, that they are a much more powerful empire than us, so it will take more. Uh, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of favors. Um, what is your 
what what is our current favorable trade deal plus 22 so we can't go any higher than 78 so let's go 70 pause uh, okay they didn't lose any ships no because that wasn't about that wasn't against us well, that's sodding fucked up, didn't it? Uh, right, I need you to go and repair. Uh, yeah, so so that was that, that was when they took over the starbase, but bit janky didn't include the war that happened after that. Never mind. Maybe it popped up and I clicked off it because I wasn't paying attention. That is entirely possible. Uh, the Yasin. Star Realm are, are getting kind of bullied a little bit politically. Uh, right. Let's go back up to fast and see how ship System progresses up here. It's, lo it's looking, it's looking like we're going to be able to clear our space. There, they've lost 30 of, sta of status quo desire. Decision making in even. Uh, Alright, okay. Persagin Enterprises. You're cordial, but you are you are you are within the realms of um, favors. Uh, okay, so still can't do that. We'll come back to you in a bit. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, I don't know how strong they are. Uh, it's about time we actually start doing these. Um, these two, because I mean that 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 they're, they're worthwhile. But we have had more more important things to concentrate on. Okay, right. You have finished building your job. You had two jobs available. You have two excess pops, so we're going to send Ibrinxiar. I said no, not excess, but two pops that are um, not committed to doing other stuff. Right, I am going to go for the robot assembly plants here. I do want that planet um, to get up to speed as swiftly as possible. Ah. Uh, I'm going to sell 25. And I'm not going to reinforce the fleet for a bit. Because I don't want to end up fucking about with the... Um... Hostile oh. Signatures detected. oh, we can jump on that. We can jump on that, my friends. Go on. Go on, have them. Right, so, um, so the lower their equivalent power to your equivalent power, the faster you can destroy the ships. And the faster you can destroy the ships, the less likely they are to be able to to, um, to, to, to disengage. Go on, go on, hunt, 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 hunt. Mm, let's hunt. Uh, we might not even lose the starbase at that, right? Uh... You have no orders, but go there. And that science ship that I sent to do that, go there. I'm very surprised they've done that. That, that, that that's a that's a an incredible mistake on their side, I would say. We even have the starbase to help out. Okay, right then. We blew up nine of their corvettes. We didn't lose a single one. Uh, but we do, again, we're looking a bit battered. We do want to go and repair. Uh, right, you have an unemployed guy. You do. You will have a job for them to do uh, in a bit. Um, concentrate for me on, uh, on amenities. Could really do with a... Uh, the word of the gene clinics. 
on this planet, um, but I don't have one. And we're not going to have one anytime soon because we're going to send another two people across. Uh, I think I'm going to send a couple of robots across, so do that. Oh, you motherfucking cheeky bastards! Make claim. Cheeky. Oh, don't go home. Don't go home. You've, you've conquered a star base. You can repair there. Don't go home. Oh. Uh, right, you are at liberty to do that. You are at liberty to do that. Uh, we are still losing energy credits. Um. Sell ten of them. We can justify selling fifty of them, I think, for now. Construction project. Um, I'm gonna resettle them now before I run out of that money and get that unemployed off the planet to uh, to get the stability increase up. Uh, still worrying about energy credits. Uh, okay, right, so we have a claim on this system. They don't have claims on these. Uh, we were the defender, so our claim cost doesn't increase, but they were the attacker, so their claim costs are increased, I think, by 100%. It might be 50 uh, and there might be some things that change that. Anyway, right, so once if you click, you right click to move them, they will move to the center of that system. If you click there, they will move across the outskirts to the, like, the fastest route to get to that. So if I was to click there, they probably wouldn't engage that station. So I'm going to shift click and queue them up. And I'm going to get down here and I'm going to stay here and I'm going to build a bastion there. Uh, yep, you are building that. It's a, it's a ruined ring world. Oh! Didn't show you the relic. Cybrex War Forge! I don't have 10,000 minerals lying in the bank, but basically you just immediately convert 10,000 minerals into 5,000 alloys. It is fucking amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. Particularly when you consider that habitats cost um, 1,500. You click that button, three habitats worth of alloys just land at your feet immediately. If you were sitting around with excess influence you know like that that you, you might even get up all the way up to a thousand influence and you're like what can i do with this build habitats assume you can build habitats uh yes we will proclaim superiority secrets of the cybrex is 50. Whew. um i'm going to sell four um I'm willing to do that, not only because I'm <laughs> currently pretty fucking poor, um, but I'm pretty sure that Romseer is the planet with the Rubicator on. Um, and the Rubicator is a, a plentiful supply of minor artifacts. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Now. <clears throat> Minerals, 1.2 to buy. We would need 10 grand to buy, uh, sorry, 25 grand to buy 10,000. That doesn't make sense. If they're 1.2, why would 10,000 of them be 25,000? Energy. They must have rebalanced it. So it takes into consideration the um, the price increase when you buy them in big chunks. Never realised that. Ah. 
Hmm, every day is a school day. Alright, fair enough then. So it doesn't matter if you buy them piecemeal. Clearly. Um, uh, but right, so um, I, w I would be interested in buying them if if they were 12, 12 grand for uh, for 10,000 alloys and then hitting that button and getting 5,000 alloys, that would be fantastic. But we're just going to have to save up. I mean, if 37 uh, minerals coming in, we're pretty screwed on that one. Um, we have enough influence and enough alloys sitting around that I can satisfy myself, in fact, that I can satisfy myself getting that system. And we will shove that bastion in there um, to, to make sure that we have enough delay that we can respond. The next time they come back into our space, if they come back into our space, um, they've already repaired pretty much that one. The next time they come back into my space, if they come back into my space, they will be back System and in greater numbers. Yeah, I can guarantee that. Uh, do they have the ability to go into Fallen Empire space? Yes, they do. Construction project concluded. Uh, right, science ship. There's nothing else for you to do. Uh, I'll send you over here and assist research over there. Uh, right. We are you can do that. You're on your way doing stuff. Um, you are going to need a mine, uh, a house and uh, Okay, right, we've got to fight these all the way back home. All the way back home. All the way down here. But uh, they, they shouldn't provide, they shouldn't prove to be much of a challenge to us, to be honest. Uh, after you have finished doing that, I want that money. In fact, I will dedicate one of them already. Uh, okay, resolution has been passed. That what 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 resolution was that paradox? Why is there not a tab here that says history? Who voted for what? How many points it got? Etc. Etc. Janky. But what what resolution was passed? Okay, cooperative research channels. Mm, 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 mm. Um, yeah, there we are. And what does cooperative research channels do, Paradox? No, nope. galactic modifiers. Here we are. What does what does that do, Paradox? Because that's just an overview of everything. See what I mean by it's janky. Uh, what are we on? We're on 28 minutes. Um, I don't imagine Paradox are ever going to hear my words. But if they hear your words, you can bring the galactic community to being actually fucking useful. It is it is already useful, but to be way more useful than it currently is. And to be much less confusing for the, for the new player. Anyway, right, see it. Jump straight back in again, straight away, again. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, for sake.